Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a new time lapse for you. But before I start, I wanted to mention that I will be getting back on a schedule again. It's been a while since I had a schedule for my YouTube videos, but I really need to get back on one uh, to have some consistency on my channel again. So I'm going to be uploading on Thursdays on at um, 7 p.m. CEST. So that's 7 p.m. European time. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention. And if I do any live streams, those will be on Tuesdays. So live streams will always be extra, not instead of the usual video. So the Thursdays videos will be or real-time tutorials or time lapses like this one. And then if I upload on Tuesday, that will be a live stream. But for the live stream, I don't want to go on the schedule because I don't have to have, I don't have time for live streams every week or every other week. So I need to figure that out. But um, on Thursday, every week, there will be a video again. So yeah, let's get on with this time lapse video because I'm doing a very fun drawing in this video. I had very much fun making this i am drawing a tree frog a red-eyed tree frog with pastel pencils on pastel mat and i have the sketch down already the full four hour tutorial is on patreon in real time so if you want to follow along and draw this as well you can have a, lo uh, a look on there it's available for the four dollar tier and let's just get started i am using stabilo pastel pencils and a few Faber-Castell Pitt pastel pencils, only the green one, 174, and I believe the violet one, I'm not sure. On Patreon, there's a color list. I, I already lost all the colors. I'm not sure which ones I used anymore, but I work mainly with the Stabilo Carbothellos, and I'm working from background to foreground. So he's sitting on a leaf. The frog itself is super vibrant, super bright. And then the leaf is a bit more muted. So I have exaggerated that a little bit in the drawing. I made the leaf even more muted and the frog more uh, brighter. Starting on the top left. And um, the leaf is very blurry in the background. So I did not add too much detail there. I just make sh made sure that you can see a bit of the texture of the leaf and the veins going in the right direction. And I made sure to add some different colors. So when you draw grass or leaves, make sure to not only use green, bright greens, make sure to mix other colors in there. So I mixed in blue, I mixed in different types of greens. So uh, warm, warmer greens and cooler looking greens and then also some brown and because of adding all those colors the leaf looked nice and natural. So then I quickly went on with the bottom part of the leaf, the area that was a little bit more in the foreground. I also made sure to add a bit of the shadow underneath the frog and between the toes that makes quite a bit of a difference. And I made sure to not use too much black in this piece. So for the dark shadows, I used um, mainly color 760, which is a very dark gray. And then also some brown, some dark brown and some violet. Some dark violet, that's number 640, if I'm right. And on top of that, I added a bit of black for the real dark parts, like underneath the, the hind leg. All right, so then I continued with the leaf, added some final highlights, and then the leaf was done. It took about one hour. Didn't, sp didn't spend too much time on it because I wanted to get started with the frog. So actually, I never draw reptiles or amphibians, so I needed to figure out a bit how I, um, how I would progress. So the first part was a bit, um, looking for the right way to, to draw this, but I had it sorted out quite quickly. So I started off with a very bright green, so this is way too bright. But I just put down a base layer of that, 
and on the top of the head there was a bright highlight so I drawn around it so I left it open oh by the way I forgot to mention the pastel mat is 5 by 7 inches so it's not too large but it's just large enough to get the frog nice and detailed so I just put down a base layer of that green 570 Five, I believe that's what it is. 570, that was the color. The very brightest color from this Tobilo set. And then on top of that, I glazed some dark yellow. So that made a real difference. Get some yellow in there. Um, that also already put in some of the, the shiny look of the skin. And the yellow also toned down the brightness of the green a bit. So I just continued that way, using the greens. Um, later on I decided that that bright green was a bit too bright to start with. So then I went with the medium green from the set, which is 575. So you have like three, three warm greens in the Stabilo set, which are 570, 575 and 585. So those are colors that I used a lot on this piece. So for the arm, there was this really bright blue part and I made sure to use different types of blues again to get some variety in there. And then for the arm, I used those greens again with a little bit of yellow glazed on top of it to get some nice hue on the arm. And then for the fingers, they were very red. So I added the, the reds from the Sibilo set, but I don't think they are quite red enough. I would love some more reds in the set. Um, so I used the reds that I had. Still not quite red enough for my liking, but they look nice. Then for the hind leg, I used exactly the same technique again. So once you have it sorted, once you know how to work, you can use the same techniques on the whole drawing. So starting out with green for a base tone, then glazing yellow on top of it, glazing, glazing some um, brown on top of it for the shadow parts, then you get this effect quite quickly. So this was a really fun drawing to make. It took four hours, but it wasn't the hardest, though it turned out quite photorealistic. So also for beginners, th this would be a really fun project to try. All right, so after I did the whole body, it was time to put in some very bright highlights on the face and on the body. So I did that with white and because I work quite lightly, so I work in many layers, but quite light layers. I don't press too much. Um, that makes it quite easy to add white on top and make it very white. So with a very sharp and white pencil, I added very bright dots on the lip and then some on the head and on the body and that contrast creates like the wet look of the skin and then finally i added some fireflies because i just like the look of that they weren't in the reference but i just added some blue fireflies and after that the drawing was finished so let me know what you think of it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this time lapse and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!